what's up welcome to my couch i'm sitting here with you today with my spongebob pants on and my favorite hoodie on my hair all frizzy and twisted no makeup keeping it real beautiful flowers in the back doing what i do with my androgynous free beautiful self um, it's June, so I want to talk about some June things. We can talk about Pride if you want to. I do want to say that, well, maybe that's another video. I actually came on here to do some affirmations with you guys. I wanted to talk about manifesting. So I want to say it was like the beginning of 2020 where this became really, really, really popular and everyone was talking about manifesting. And right now we're in Gemini, part of the astrological chart. We're also in eclipse season, so these eclipses are out here, and they are kind of shaking us loose. It's a big tower card moment. If you know anything about tarot, you know that when you pull up the tower, it usually symbolizes a bunch of things crumbling so that it can clear itself out the way for the new stuff that you've been waiting for anyway. But in the meantime, all that crumbling is going to feel like a disaster or a crisis. Um, because if a building shuts down or falls to pieces while you're in it, that's what it feels like. Um, so that's kind of what eclipses bring us. But at the same time, we're dealing with many retrogrades, specifically Mercury retrograde, but also retrogrades with Saturn and Jupiter and Pluto. I don't know what Mars is doing. I have not been keeping track of Mars, but I need to keep track of Mars. I'm going to leave it at that. Anyway... I'm happy to see you because I haven't done just a sit down and talk video. I've actually been working and editing another video for an adventure um, from an adventure that I've taken, a few adventures. I was gonna make a giant compilation, something, just a treat for you all. It doesn't have a ton of like informative stuff. It's just fun and randomness and chaos. And this is the channel that it t that is titled Rekha's Random. So, on this variety show, we get to do whatever we want. And I get to make you awesome, way too long uh, compilations from adventures I've taken. And that is to come, so please stay tuned for that. Um, right now, I'm currently keeping myself cleansed and recharged and just renewed. <coughs> and manifesting the crap out of my life. As you know, because I talk about it on here a lot, I am a spiritual practitioner. I'm also an actor. I'm also a dancer. I love music. And um, I'm a very creative soul. And I've always been that way since being really, really little. This is not news. Um, and I'm manifesting being a series regular on a show that I love, on a show that supports me financially, creatively, artistically, and even socially sometimes. A show that feels like a beautiful, welcoming environment. A show that my spouse and the people I hold dear and close to my heart are happy to see me be a part of and that are encouraging and supportive about because they truly understand how much I take value in this, but they also understand that it only adds to the wealth and to the love of the stuff in my personal life. A lot of people ask, how do you balance personal stuff with career stuff? And here's the thing. The people I hold near and dear to my heart that are in my personal life, they understand that me being creative is a part of who I am as a human being, part of who I am as a soul. So they don't just love bits and pieces of me, they love all of me, and I love all of them. So those very few people that I keep in my beautiful tight-knit circle in this manifestation, they're continuing to support and to love and to cherish all that I have and all that I am, as I do for them. This new opportunity is also going to allow me the ability to create balance and harmony in my life. So I'll be working on this show, and then if I wanna see my spouse, if I wanna see a good homie, if I wanna see a friend, if we need to come together in fellowship, I have the financial freedom and I have the time and the space kind of freedom so we are not limited by time space or finances to see each other because my life is harmonious my life is fulfilling my life is joyous my life is progressive I learn and I continue to grow and become a better being in this 
manifestation. I've been writing it all down. I created that whole world, that whole journey in this book. I can't tell you how powerful that is. And I'm sharing that with you, even though that's very personal to me, because I'm here to let you know if you have goals, maybe you don't, maybe you hear some stuff on the internet when people talk about manifestation and it doesn't feel like it resonates to you. Maybe you don't believe in it. But here's what you can believe in. You can believe in yourself. Take a pen and paper. It does not have to be a fancy notebook. This is literally from a drugstore. I want to say it was like $2, $1. It's a miniature little notebook. I stick it in my bag all the time. Take your pen. Write the life. Write the thing you want. And don't say, I want this thing. Say, I have this thing. This is in my life. I manifest this. I claim this as my own and I'm grateful. I'm humbly grateful and patiently receiving this thing. Write it down in the present tense. So let's say you need a new car or let's say you're in a position where you want better friends. You want your circle to be more cohesive to the life and to the journey you're on, to the path you desire to be on. Write that down. My friends are this, this, and that. Write about your new friends. My friends are this. My friends are that. They're amazing. I love them. I claim this as my own. I humbly and patiently receive with an open heart and without attachment. Amen. Or whatever. Ashe. Bless it be. So what it be. Whatever you want. You can just write your name and put your signature on it if you want. In fact, you know what I'm fitting to do. Always tie it to yourself. I do that with my signature. I'll write my name. When I do a manifestation, I'll put my numerology on here for my chart. Any sigil that represents me, I write that on there. Or I'll write thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I like to work with sacred numbers. And I keep it in the book because it's mine and I can have this. Some people like to fold theirs up, put it under a candle and use it as a petition. Um, I've noticed that in certain like Catholic churches. I've also noticed that in certain people's altars. Or you can just throw a bunch of stuff in a random notebook and it looks like a bunch of scribbles. Like literally I, I write in here. It's not even pretty. Like this is a list with a bunch of scratches. Like. This is my everything I needed to be notebook. It's a beautiful bright yellow color, like the sun, and like your solar plexus chakra. I'm holding selenite in my receiving hand right now because when I wake up, I like to rise, shine, renew, okay? Those are the things I like to do in the morning because I have a lot of dreams pretty much every night. They're very lucid. There's a lot of messages and stuff in my dreams. It's not just brain clearance, although sometimes I do have dreams that it's just garbage left over in the head or anxiety or stress um, but regardless of what came to me in my dreams I like to wash clean write things down write down the messages connect to myself and cleanse I do that by taking something like this that's really good for projecting and it's really good to use as a, like an antenna I like to use it to cleanse and to elevate so I just place it in my receiving hand. I might light some incense or something, or I might light a fire. I try to sit by a window where I can get some of that sunlight that's coming in, being washed by the light of a new day. And I just hold it and I drink my coffee. And it's that simple. I grab this talk and I hold it. But if you don't have this, you can simply take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and say thank you. Before I ever had any tools, any rocks, any of that, I would just wake up in the morning and say thank you. And I would say thank you before my feet ever hit the ground. And if I forgot, then I would just say it whenever I remembered. It's a simple prayer. You may not even know who you're saying thank you to. If you're not sure about that, if you're not someone who believes in a God, you can still do this. So I feel like starting your day with gratitude and saying, you know what? I'm breathing. <laughs> thank you. I'm still breathing. And I've done this. Oh my gosh, I think I've done this for years. Like, almost 20 years now I've been doing that. Where I just wake up and I pray. Whether it was me literally just saying thank you and then moving on. Or me just having a moment of like, 
thank you amen like that's it that's all i have to say is thank you and then move on not asking for anything in particular and it honestly keeps my days i don't know on this track of I want to say satisfaction, but that's not quite the word. I don't have the English for that right now, but it feels uh, the best word I can think of is jane, which is like the Hindi word that means knowing or to know. And I feel connected, like I'm cognizant, like very cognizant. I'm mindfully living when I start my day that way. And being mindful is very powerful. And if you're someone who suffers with depression or anxiety, being mindful is a great tool just so you can be aware and connect to this body and connect to your mind um, because those are ailments of the body those are physical sicknesses those are chemical imbalances and I think a first step of being able to conquer those challenges that affect you physically um, is to say that hey I, I witness you I notice I'm paying attention so that's kind of where like the first step of setting intention is to pay attention so that's why that's why i start my day with that simple prayer of just thank you um because you know we close our eyes to sleep and what if that's the last time you ever close your eyes you know i think about that um, which sounds really dark but it's actually really beautiful because then i'm grateful i'm grateful to be able to take time to rest I'm also grateful to take time to be awake. There was a time in my life where waking up really, really upset me. Um, it gave me a sense of grief and I was upset because my will to live was almost not there. And now I'm to a point where I'm so excited to be alive and I'm so excited to live. I even have a whole thing I've been writing about alive. I actually did my project on it in college. I have journals about that since I was like 10 years old. So life and being the lived experience is very precious and very important to me. Even as even when I meet struggles, it doesn't mean that this isn't important to me. So that's why I do what I do. There's always a method to my madness. So I just wanted to get on here today and to give you an update, to connect with you all, and to encourage you to grab a pen and paper and start rewriting your script. Rewrite your story because you have the power to do so. And there's something powerful about having goals or having things that you desire and just writing it down and then starting there. You don't have to sit there and have a whole plan right, right away. It's just something empowering when you get pens to paper and you say, this is what I'm doing. Not, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm doing. Present tense. And now it's like, now you got to do it, you know? I don't know how else to explain that so i wish you well on your journey i really encourage you all to try this if you want to comment down below and tell me how this has been working for you or if you've encouraged someone else to do this and how it worked for them um that would be awesome i would love to hear about that um i'm probably going to release this to my patreon and my youtube because i think this is a message for everybody um but a special shout out to my patrons for being here you guys have definitely supported me and given me some of the tools that I've been needing to further invest in what I've been doing creatively, spiritually, and otherwise. So thank you for your support and thank you for your ongoing partnership on this journey. Bless.